love so this is going to be an easy tutorial I'm going to be doing a messy tassel bun with my wig that I created from Eva wigs hair extensions using the Fumi hair this is a full closure wig so what I'm going to do right now is I see I have a part in the middle I'm going to go ahead and separate my hair I'm just going to take the right side along with the left side and I'm just going to pull that towards the front and just gather my back portion and I'm just going to be doing this because the back portion is the piece that I'm going to be leaving out so this is going to be a high messy bun so using a ponytail holder I'm just going to hold that hair back and then what I'm going to go ahead and do is spritz my wig unit with some water just to get the part out and make the brushing a whole lot easier you don't have to do this if you, if you haven't worn the wig already or if you just don't want to do that but it's a lot easier for me to do that and to get the part out so with a nice hard brush like a boar's hair brush or just a nice hard brush I'm gonna go ahead and brush my hair down and just smooth it out and along with some more water and also a good paddle brush because like I said the hair is curly so and this is like a lot of hair so I don't want to like rake the hair with the brush but I am going to be using the brush for my front hair portion I'm going to also be using some of my Aussie instant freeze mousse I do have this in a mousse and a hairspray I absolutely love this hairspray and this mousse when it says instant freeze it is instant freeze so I'm going to be smoothing that on my entire frontal area just as you see right here and just brushing it down trying to smooth out those edges but I'm not too worried about that I'm going to take my ponytail holder and I'm going to pull my hair through once as well as the second time I'm just going to go ahead and pull it through and not pull it all the way through so I'm going to be leaving some out so it's kind of like a faux bun so you want to pull the ponytail through the first time the entire time the second time you want to pull it through a little bit depending on how thick the hair is and you want to leave some of it left out that way you can go ahead and you can tuck the hair under you don't really need to use a lot of bobby pins for this just a little bit so as you've seen I went ahead and left some of the hair left in between the ponytail holder I'm just going to take that leftover hair and push it up underneath the puff bun and just secure it with some bobby pins and as you see here the hair is very full I'm just going to take some of that hair out now my edges are a little bit thin and I want to make sure that the wig is hidden as you can see that little part right there in the front this is topic hair so, um, carotene filler fibers and this stuff is like awesome especially if you have thin hair or if you have any balding spots I love the applicator that you can just spray the fibers on because it makes the application so much easier so this actually helps me because like I said my hair is thin I'm gonna set it with my favorite Aussie hairspray and just take a toothbrush and brush it into place you don't need a lot of it depending on how thin your hair is in the area but it also helps my hair blend better with the wig using some of my Shea Moisture Edge Control which is a great product I'm gonna go ahead and swoop me down some baby hairs y'all yes I need a little baby hairs just to get the full effect of this unit yes so this full high messy tassel ponytail bun is awesome there is no part you don't see there is a part so it's just basically tasseled it's messy no one can see if there's a part or not because the bun is so big so I hope you guys enjoyed the video something simple and easy and cool for the summer I'll see you guys on my next video stay diva and delicious bye